hello and welcome to this channel in this video i want to show you exactly how to unlock your facebook account if your account has been locked for example you may have some information like um, your account has been locked we saw unusual activity on your account this may mean that someone has used your account without your knowledge account locked at, as of february 28 2023 to protect you your profile is not visible to people on facebook and you can't use your account walk you through some steps to unlock your account so now basically this problem happens if there is something that facebook suspects that um your account security may be compromised they will lock you and they will ask you to follow various steps and if you are really the owner of the account you may be able to get back so let me give you an example maybe someone um hacks your account and quickly you know when a, a scammer hacks your account or when a hacker hacks your account and they log in they try to um change a lot of things quickly like like they could change your password remove your email address try to change um your phone number and all that so the facebook security system will be able to sus to, to to detect that this one this activity is suspicious and it may not be you because normally it's, it's, it's the scammers or the hackers that try to do things so quickly but under normal circumstance you may not be trying to change so many things so quickly like they they will do in some cases it could be a genuine case it could be you yourself who is trying to make a change but they are suspecting so it is all good and it, it, it is the purpose of it is to put you in check to help you um, get your account and to make sure that it is not someone who is hacking your account so this account let me give you an overview of what probably happened that they, they locked this account and how we're able to get this account back let me just give you a brief overview okay um so first of all some hackers hacked this account in fact this is a client account it's my client account so hackers hack the account when they log in they try to run a lot of adverts so when they tried and they were doing the adverts um facebook stopped and restricted account and asked that he verifies the the card that is on the account that that's the debit card and the problem is that the debit card that he used on the account was an old debit card that's, that has even expired so he doesn't even have that debit card again and so when we try to do the verification facebook is saying that if we don't have the debit card they will lock the account and then walk us through some some steps for us to gain the account back so they said please complete the verification to remove the current restrictions on your account after completing the verification you may need to log back into your facebook account so okay so when we click on the start verification they brought us here your account will be locked if you continue your account will be locked for security reasons for security purposes and we'll take you through some steps to unlock it while your account is locked you won't be able to log into facebook ad campaigns may be paused and payment method may be removed okay so when we click continue and then it took us to this place where they log the account and they asked us to get started then we clicked on get started then it took us to confirm this account belongs to you to help us prove this account really belongs to you confirm your identity then we click on confirm identity get started then it took us to upload your id then um, in fact they asked us to confirm the id the, the the email they asked us to add an email address first we added the email they sent a confirmation code to the email address then we confirmed and then they asked us to choose a type of card before i finish this please and please and please take notice and listen if you can do this this one is better done on the phone than the computer if you can do it on the phone is 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 good i will later tell you why but i will advise that you watch this video to the end before you take any action watch this video to the end before you take any action now you can use your passport you can use driver's license you can use national id marriage certificate uh normally there's a place where you can click to see more where you can choose a voter id uh, uh, you can choose other things like voter id and other forms of identification but normally i will advise if you have a national id or voter id in my country national id and voter id works best for me so i've used them on several locations and then i've got a result then passport and driver's license is also okay you can use any of them okay 
Now, um, before you even choose any of the ID, please make sure that the ID you are using has a name that matches with what is on your on your Facebook account. Because if your name, your first and last name doesn't match with what is on your ID, uh, your, your Facebook account, you may lose access to the account because they want to make sure that the first and last name with the birth date is matching exactly with what is on your Facebook. Okay. Then also make sure that the ID, the email address you are using is actually the email address that is connected with the Facebook account. If that email address is different, they may not trust it. It may not be a trusted email address because the Facebook account, Facebook will detect that that email has not been used on the account and they may think you are a hacker. So make sure that the ID that you are using, uh, the email that you are using is the same email that has been used on the Facebook account before they locked it. And the ID, uh, the ID that you are going to use is the ID that has the same name and the birth date as what is on your um on, on your account okay so when that is done choose the the id that you want then you click continue or next then they'll ask you to upload your id then they will tell you there are some requirements the information the information on your id must be clearly visible in the photo otherwise you might have to submit it again so if you click on photo requirements they will send you to this these are the requirements show all the four corners it must show all the four corners make sure all the four corners of the id are visible make sure that you keep the id flat use a flat surface to take the photo don't take the photo at an angle use a clear and focused image mm? make sure that the photo isn't blurry and avoid glare and shadows text and images on the photo must be clearly visible use a dark background white or a light colored backgrounds won't be accepted so white background or light colored backgrounds won't be accepted show all info on your id card photos that have been digitally modified to hide information won't be accepted you can't you can still cover sensitive information physically such as with stickers or tape okay so these are all the things that uh, you need to to go through so when all that is done you upload the id now the problem is sometimes you upload the id and it will keep on loading loading and loading and loading in fact when I did it on the computer, it loaded for more than 30 minutes and it was not it, it was not submitting successfully. In some cases, I do it and it sub submitted instantly. But um, of late, I've tried it on several people accounts just to help them recover it. I'm into digital marketing and then entrepreneurship training. And this digital marketing, we encounter a lot of those problems every day and we help people to get back their account. So when I was trying to help the person um, when we did it on the computer, it was loading, loading, and loading. And so this one was the same problem. It loaded for more than 30 minutes, and it was not submitting successfully. So we had to do it on the phone. So when we did it on the phone, um, within um, it, it didn't even take up to uh, five minutes. Within some two or three minutes, it, it, it says, your account is unlocked. You can now use your account in security settings. You can set up a code generator or backup code, so it, it will unlock the account, and we could go to the news feed. And then, if I um, show you here, I'm back to the account. Um, let me just show you. Okay, so as you can see, this this is the account. We have been able to log back successfully so my advice is that you can use it it is it is more preferable to do it on the phone than on the computer if you do it on the phone um at the end of the day um you are going to the chances of getting it back is very uh, high and then some for some of you you may also try to um some of you may also try see just a second okay okay so you may also see that your account is locked but you don't see the get started option mm -hmm. now when that happens what it means is that um you are not using a device that is that has been logged in before so you need to use a trusted device when i say a trusted device the device you have used to log into the account and you have used it most often for example 
Let's say that you have a phone and a computer and you have been using your account on a phone every day, but on the computer is once a while that you log in. Facebook would prefer you to do it on the phone than a computer. If you have been logging most of the time, let's say you have two phones, one of the phones you log in once a while, but the other one you are always logging all the time. It is preferable to use the one you've been logging most of the time. If it is the same with the computer, if you have been using most of your, if you have been logging into the computer more often than the phone, to do it on the computer and you are likely to get the access back. Okay, so this is what you basically need to do to get back your account. And after it is done, uh, make sure you check your security settings to make sure that everything is intact and no one is really um, using your account okay so you, you 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 try to do that okay so this is how to get it back remember to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell in case you follow this procedure and you still haven't got back your account you can follow the links in the description to contact us for help on how to be able to get back your account in case your account is also disabled for advertising reasons uh, uh, for, for disabled for violating uh, advertising policies remember to contact us that is our main area of specialization you will be, we'll be able to help you we specialize in um, um, helping you uh, getting back your account then reinstating your advertising restrictions so that you can advertise again once again thank you and then have a great day bye